knew where you're coming from. But my Bible says that he that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. And it says that the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The right of surely to the end and your sake. By the authority in the name of Jesus that I know, I command you this day, disappear by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I declare the Holy Ghost fire upon you now. Holy Ghost fire. But black candle, black candle, black candle, black candle, black candle. How did you imagine that? You saw me bowing down to such a little boy. I advise you go back to sleep, dream again. By the time he come back, you will see that he is the person at my feet, bowing to me while I am on the throne. Father Isaiah, I am very sure of what I saw. What you should be thinking now is to how to prevent it from happening. Yes, Father Isaiah. He is right. Even if you don't believe him, just think about it. In case anything of that nature occurs, what will you do? For the first time, I am disappointed in the two of you. I thought you were more intelligent. Yeah. This is not an issue of intelligence. At least, let's be realistic. Realistic about what? As far as I'm concerned, this discussion is over. I'm done with it. Are you saving us out of your office? If you'd like, you go. If you'd like, you stay there. Okay. Okay. If you'd like, you go. If you'd like, you stay there. I am here to see my one and only father, Tim. So can you just get out of my way and stop fooling yourself around me? Excuse me. Father, Tim has instructed me not to allow anyone to come and see him. Please. He's in a prayer session. So I will advise you to leave and come back next time. Next time. So when would that be? I don't know. Don't maybe, know? maybe three or four days. Or even one week. You're not serious. Excuse me. I'm serious. If you dare insist on going in, I will call others from the room. I will throw you out. Please, better respect yourself and leave. Mm. We'll make sure I deal with you. Rubbish.
I said, come here. When did it become your duty to determine who visits this parish? When? Eh? What's this there? But what? Eh? Uh. But what? Uh. Now listen. Remove your stupid mouth from any end that was Even they could not even see me coming, so I quickly walked out. No, 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 no. The Lord be with you. And it's very good because you know very well that if they had seen you, you know what that means. It's big trouble. Thank God for blinding their sight. I could never imagine that. Such a thing was going on in this parish. Good afternoon. May the Lord be with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Please. I never imagined what my eyes saw. That's what my best for you. The Father, what do we do now concerning the immoral art? particular lady who has been visiting Father Tim all the time. And uh, when we tried to draw the attention of Sister Esther to it, she didn't pay particular attention. As a matter of fact, I think she knows this girl. Are you serious about this? Father, would I play about a thing like this? Of course I'm serious. Don't worry, I will discuss it over with Father Isaiah. Father, please, we really have to do something about this before it gets out of hand. So, what will we do to do now? 
for this particular girl, visiting Father Tim in his privacy, I think it would bring shame to us. No, it's not going to bring any shame to us. How do you mean? I thought we've settled on this issue. And I'm here saying that things should be left the way they are. Rice for Father Tim. Oh. So I'm dishing it out right now. That's very kind of you. But I'm sorry, you have an emergency call now. Ah, from who? Uh, ah, that's Yes, it is. It's our special Reverend Tim. Okay. But I'm Josiah. Uh, Josiah is supposed to be a presence. Really? No, there's no problem. I don't think there is. Just let me serve him. Imagine that little boy, that non-entity, that good-for-nothing idiot. He wants to show me that he's tough, isn't it? I know what to do to him. And by the time I get through with him, he will know that no one says no to my requests. Nonsense.
I am the God of this land. Yes, light. Darkness cannot comprehend. No man comes to my land without being grown. My master says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the name of Jesus Christ is a traitor. I to And they say, I command you this thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you. Thank you for the anointing, oh God. Thank you for the anointing that broke every yoke. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are worthy to be praised, and of Jesus. Please, um, could you accompany me to that Ichi's house? Of course, Father. Good. Let's go. So, what exactly did you say I would do for the oracle? <laughs> oh, yes. There are things you must do. For you to be free. I am still Onyoma, the son of Amade. My father is a big masquerade that interprets all interpretables. Onyozi, 
if you can fulfill all these items that I'm going to mention now, you will be free. Twelve tubers of yams. Two white beds. One big goat. You need to fulfill all these items. That is the only reason for me to take you to the shrine. Asking because I am sure you're the one that took him wherever he is. So I'd like to know where is he? You want to know where I took him? Yes. I don't have an answer to your question. Please come back here. I said, where did you take him to? Are you deaf? You think you can just walk out of me like that? Tell me where you took him to. Oh, do you want to be here? You think you can slap me? Slap me! What is happening here? John, he slapped me. Why did you slap her? Sister, I didn't slap her. Actually, coming to see you because he didn't tell you you are coming. Yes, uh, yes, yes, it's urgent. It's urgent. Sorry for that. Pardon me, please. Uh, please meet um, Reverend Sister Uche. Father Thomas, can we see a minute? Yes, sir, please. Privately. I don't understand all these things that are happening. I, I am so devastated. Valati, don't worry. I'm sure Jesu Christi will see you through all these trials. Remember his surfacing many things when he was here on earth. So be strong and of good courage. He will see you through. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, you see, there's something I'm thinking about. And I will do it by the grace of God. I want to visit the mountain and pray serious prayers, seeking the face of God over all these happenings. Let me go with you then, so we can pray together. I wasn't expecting this from you. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you. I, I will let you know when it happens. Amen. 
Father Tim is in a serious trail. You mean in his new parish? Yes, so. The kind of attack he's passing through in that parish is something else. The, the worst of it all are the Reverend Sisters in that parish. Something else like what, Sister Mary? My dear, you needed to see the way the Reverend Sisters huh, antagonized me in that parish the first day I went there with Father Tim. Huh. Huh. I wonder how he's coping in that parish, oh. Oh, wait. Don't you think we should pay him a visit? Yes. You know how he's doing. That's a very good idea. Because I feel so bad. All these things you're saying, I don't understand it. <laughs> it would be nice. But considering the kind of sisters in that parish, <sighs> one doesn't know what they are up to. Uh-uh. Sister Mary, come on. You sound like they have vultures in that parish as sisters. As long as we're going there for good. I don't think there's anything they'll do to us. Yes. We really need to go and see Father Tim, okay? I'm really concerned about him. Sister Mary, we understand. But we need to visit Father Tim because he's a good man. We need to support him. Okay, sisters, I will see you girls later. Let me go to the Blessed Sacrament. It's okay. all right, Sister we'll see you Mary. Later. All right. Why were you absent from the I noticed that you were nowhere in the parish. I thought we have told you the rules and the regulations of this parish, which include you not going out except you are on errand from us or the council. Fathers, with due respect, I only went out in search of information so that I can know how to go about the tremendous attack I'm having in this parish. Why did you go out for the so-called information when we told you not to go out? It's because you're stubborn. And because you're stubborn, you are causing problems for yourself. How am I causing problems for myself? You are causing problems for yourself. And that is the reason why the honor of the is to you. That's why. That's why. Who can be a little further are you? Very stubborn. Very difficult to obey rules and regulations. Eh? He can marry me. He can marry me. I'm not going to marry women and Magdalene. Eh? So you can't come here and die back to us. Hmm? We will deal with you. Parenting. Why do you call for this meeting without my approval? Even when you know I am the head priest of this parish. Father Tim, you have developed wings that you cannot call for a meeting in this parish without first of all informing us. Father Josiah, please come down. I will explain. Explain what? In fact, there is nothing to explain. Listen, whatever meeting you are having here cannot hold. And as such, it is hereby dismissed. And your fathers. You can go back to your various parishes. Have you heard it? Go back to your various parishes. Look at the young father deceiving you people. Eh? Let me ask you for a thing. You can marry me. You can wear my name. I'm not going to marry me. Don't come here and challenge me. Go to your various parishes. To put them up over in my finger. Chemo, 
Please, I am sorry, sisters. You cannot go into the parish now. Please, sister, why is that? Because we don't allow strangers into our parish. Holy Mary. Are you calling us strangers in this parish? You don't worship here. Neither do you work here. Are you not a stranger? <clears throat> uh, sister, as you can see, we're Reverend Sisters from Father Tim's former parish. Yes. Please, we just want to see him. Exactly what I'm saying. Oh, are you dead? You cannot see him. Just go back from wherever you're coming from. Mm -hmm. You can't see him. Disappointed in you, Father Tim. How could you? 
how could you bring in a lady inside their bedroom? How could you? Then who is that lady that visited you? Your, your Lordship, I did not bring any woman. I did not bring any lady to my parish house. It is only the Reverend Sisters and Fathers that visited. Father, Father Isaiah with Sister Esther and Ruth testified here that there is a particular girl that has been visiting you consistently. And you are here tonight. You are here denying. Anyway, you are here by suspended from all church activities until you prove your innocence. So be it. The truth will be revealed. Our blessed lady will vindicate you and prove you are innocent of all these accusations. Thank you very much. You are a friend indeed. Thank you. Father Tim. Yes, Your Lordship. I'm asking you. Who is that girl that visited you in the parish house? Your Lordship, like I said earlier before, I had never allowed any girl into my parish house. Except the two reverend sisters that visited me officially the other day. Yes. Our Lordship, what is said is nowhere near the truth. Why don't we invite the girl so that she can say the truth? Yes, Your Lordship. I strongly support Father Isaiah. Let's send for the girl. Uh, in that case, uh, let's summon the girl. Summon the girl to come here immediately. Young lady, answer the question first. What's the meaning of this delay? A simple question that requires a simple answer. So, who is he? He, he, he is my... Is he a what? He, he is my boyfriend. I'm so much disappointed in you, Father Tim. So much disappointed. I hold you. A whole Father Tim of all priests. The charismatic and vibrant Father Tim. You are a disgrace to this robe you are putting on. And to the priesthood in general. Now listen very carefully. You are hereby suspended. To put them on my my finger. To put put away my finger already. As it you move, as it you move on my body. Yeah. 
But don't worry, God will surely fight for you. John, thank you very much for believing in me. May the good Lord bless you. You too. Our God would vindicate you. If I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe if I sorrow, if I sorrow, maybe much more. I can't give my nest, I can't give my whistle where I tat. The really big wabanding kicky, Monsali, but to buy your cancer. When I read
Innocent, oh God, fight for me. For you are the God of innocence, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies, oh God. The King of Glory, the same yesterday, the same today, and forever. Lord, I cry out to thee. You are my answer, oh God. Answer your son, your moment, oh God. Let there be confusion in the camp of my enemies, oh Jehovah. You called me into this, oh God. I never negotiated this with you, oh Jehovah. They know you will not be put, I will not be put to shame. Punishment. 
everything about woman is sweet except to overdo it. We took a little of um, southern herbs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. little of uh, Robin and Anya, uh -huh. little of uh, the little, 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 little by little. Image out to me. Little by little. Don't ever do it. Hey, how I drop a bomb to Problem? Nah. Uh, Hold on. Let me just break it down for you. Let it not be as if I don't know what I'm doing. I understand that Father Tim has been suspended. But one thing he has failed to understand that the Reverend Father is a Reverend Father any day, any time. You can suspend him, but you cannot sack a Reverend Father for life. He has been ordained, he has been ordained. But listen, what I am hearing in this community is something that is quite discerning and something that is not okay with me. People do not understand the need. They don't know why Reverend Sisters are in that parish. Now, let me educate you. I'm just coming back now. I just went to get some herbs and leaves for my father so that we can cure some people in the house. I decided to join my father in this business because I believe in sanity. I am a son of a hustle. I don't lie. I tell people the truth. Now, let me tell you so that when you get there, you tell people the truth. The Reverend Sisters you see in that parish, in as much as whatever they are doing, I don't care. But I must tell you the truth what they are doing. They are managing the school and that parish. That is the reason they are there. But apart from that, there is no need for you to see Reverend Sisters in a parish where you... That, what are they doing? The only good thing they are doing that I'm telling you now is they are managing their school. That is the reason. So that when you get out there, you tell people what they are doing. So that people will stop gossiping. That they, they, they are doing that. They are doing that. That's not my business. But I debated because but, I need but, to... But, 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 you know all this. You never hear. To be a reverend father, we are here cutting leaves. I am not ready to stay in my life. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Those sisters in the parish have succeeded in suspending for that team. I don't get you. As far as I'm concerned, every sister cannot suspend a reverend father. The suspension did not even come directly from them, but at the cost of the suspension, accusing him of adultery or whatever. But is it true? I am not interested in your greeting. The only thing I'm interested in is the gossip. I am so much interested in gossip. Have you been able to ask yourself why God created the man in his own image and made the book come out of the rip of a man? Have you asked yourself that? You like gossip, destruction. A whole lot of people in the Bible has been destroyed because of you people. When I say people are evil, I don't know. You are gossiping about Father Tim and the Reverend Sisters in that parish. I may not know too much about Catholic Church, but I'm telling you to your faces right now that you should know the reason those Reverend Sisters are living in that Catholic Church. There is school there, and somebody must manage that school, and that is the reason those Reverend Sisters are there. I'm not a Catholic. But I'm telling you to your face. You should stop gossiping. Stop this and nonsense church and church. It doesn't help. Nonsense. I am on you, man. The son of a masquerade. And I'm telling you that I believe in truth. I know my Look at me. These are the things we use. Herbs. Sometimes we buy it. Sometimes we go to the bush and get them. For us to cure people. Stop this, you're blabbing. It is not going to help you people. If you want to know who you people are, I am advising you to go and read Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. You might be surprised I'm quoting Bible. 
and I found something better than death. A woman. Please, Father Tim, tell me the direction to your village since you're no longer in the parish. You're not in the village. Ugunso. Stupid girl. A poison. Therefore, that's what you are. Biambweke. Who are you calling names? You, of course. You and your mother have succeeded in raising false accusation on Father Tim. Wait, wait, wait. Who gave you the audacity to call my mother name? Of what? course, she's a very stupid woman. Hold my mother a she stupid woman. She is a stupid woman. What can you do I about it? I will show it? you what a daughter of a stupid woman can do to a stupid girl like you. What can you do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know yourself! consider it well because I want to make my own marriage official. I pray so because I want to enjoy my husband like other women. <laughs> it must surely come to existence. Amen. Amen. At least it will save us from the shame of immorality in the life of our young priest. The seminarians, even in the convent. So Pope must surely consider this. Honestly, Mama, they should. They should. Because my girlfriend in school then was telling me how she was dating a reverend father. And she was telling me how, how romantic and lovely he was. So let the Pope stop these hide and shop matters. They should come out openly mm. and be a real man. <laughs> I pray hard. I pray very, very hard. We are also praying to work. There's something I want you to do for me. What could that be? I would want you to accompany me to see Father Tim. Father Tim? Where is he? Did he go to his village? No, um, the last time I think we spoke, he said he was at Ugonso. Oh. So I would want us to go join him in prayers. Okay, okay, it's okay. Uh, I can go with you if that makes you happy. Thank I can you. go with you. But I don't know about Sister Rose anyway. Come on, sister. I'd love to go with you, but you have to take permission from the parish priest. It's true. It's very true. But I'm very sure the parish priest won't say no. Yeah. Uh, yes. Father Tim is involved. So let's go. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Stupid question. 
Jesus has ever. Yes. How dare you? How dare you? Oh my God. Will you go? No problem with yourself. No problem. No problem. No problem. Never now. Don't think I'm not wrong. Never now. Don't. Never now. Don't. Huh? Never now. Don't. Never now. Don't. 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 Sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat renum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celu et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis vodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. quit if you can't be a reverend father because I can see that very soon you will be facing the wrath of God. Both of you. Why is he talking about Relax and celebrate the high mass with me. Because the Bible tells me that whatever you do to the least of your brethren, that you do to God. But I can see the level of iniquity revolving around you, Father Thomas. This is the appointed time. You, you two, repent. Repent. Before you face the wrath of God. Mama! Papa! How are you? You're welcome. You're welcome, my son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't wait to become my father. You're welcome. You're welcome. Papa, best to be ordained priest. Oh, my son, you really make me proud. Thank you, Abba Father King of So, from now on, I, mean, ah. I have a Reverend Father in my house. Yes! Oh, Lord! Hi, God! 
Thank you. You're now Papa Father. Exactly. Hey. Exactly. Hey. Hey. And me too. I am now Mama Father. To God be the glory. Wash out. Hey. Now always wash my step. Mama, where are you? Mama. Mama. Imagine. Mama Father, it's not easy now. Is it not your name? Look, let me tell you. If you have to betray me as your own father, look. Oh God, let me tell you. It will never be well with you. Now, you see the uh, bishop and all the congregation, they are, they are now waiting for your ordination. And you are here. Papa, being a priest is not by force. Hey! I was dead. You've caused me a very big pain. You've defied the, the moral rectitude of my family. Upon all my efforts to see that you are ordained the priest, you turned it down. It will never be well with you. And you will never see peace in your life. Oh, 
I am very, very grateful. Thank you, Father. I also want to ask for one um, favor. Yes? What is it? I want you to join me to Umabani community so that we can collectively destroy the deity 
that has been disturbing me in my dreams and that has taken the peace and tranquility of that community. Father, is that what you plead for? We are with you, Father. Church. Father, see, we will always stand by your side. Church. Yes, Father. See, I, I feel like crying. I don't know how I can thank you all. You all are my beloved ones. And our God that we serve will not fail you. Amen. He will not fail you. Amen. If I saw if I saw maybe. If I saw if I saw maybe much more. I can't give my nurse. I can't give my so after dating Father Isaiah for years, he switched over to Sister Sarah. Does it mean I'm no longer beautiful? <sighs> Whatever his intention is, I must implicate him. But wait all, he's the head priest of this parish. Implicating him will be difficult. Except, yes, I know what to do.
left with Sister Sarah. That's why you think you can stand up and talk to me. Let me tell you, it's advisable for you to taste the pussy. Taste your mom. Taste that chip. Taste your A window. Even Banga! Those things are the ones that you send me to Hellfire. You will end up in Hellfire. Let me marry her. You end up in Hellfire. Hellfire will be difficult because once I'm in the midst of all these suits, if he tries to enter, he will say, Mario, man. He tries again to enter. Banga, banga, yeah. Fake, Fake, that's what you do. He can marry me. Fake, never, father. He can marry me. Fake, never, I'm marrying the American Mandarini. Fake, never, father. I'm marrying the American Mandarini. Thank you. 
Lord you bless you, my king. I glorify you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, L
Your face, you come again, is very scandalous. It's against the belief and doctrine of Roman Catholic Church. On the order from the Pope, you are hereby expelled from the priesthood of Roman Catholic Church. May the Lord be with you. One million naira. It is to apologize to you and plead with you to come back to your parish at Omo Abali. This time, as the head priest of the parish. Congratulations. Hoc de spiritu santo, sin differentia discretioni sentimus.